Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show how we uh, show and discuss more about the uh, test array. So here I will discuss how we create the test case, how we create a new project, how we write the test case in the new project. And then I will show how we uh, create a milestone test plan as well as the test plan and then how we execute the test case. So now let's see. So first of all, let me show you how we create a new project. So like we have, uh, when we have, we are on dashboard. So in that case, we will see the add project. Click on this, mention the project, like I'm giving test project. We can give the project description, right? There are so the announcement on the overview page, use a single repository for all the test case recommended. Use, basically this is the template we can use this right use multiple test suite to manage test case so let's go first one and add a project now you can see here one more project is added one project earlier uh, this is the example project which is uh, exported when i uh, created the test train and exported the project from the example table so now this is the second project as of now I am created. If you want to create more project, here is option is available. Add example project, it will basically create a project and upload all the test cases which are the existing and provided by the test rail. So let me open this. Here you can see uh, access, defect, uh, referenced variables, paybook, multiple options is available. Based on the requirement, we can add the, all, the, all, all these details for the project. Okay, let's go to the dashboard and click the test project. Test project is selected. Now for the test project, you can see there is to do, milestone, test run results, test case, report. All these options are current. So when we have created first time the project, right here we will see all the data is in blank. Now, first of all, let's add know how we add the test case. So here we can add the test case under the test case tab, right? Initially, this is blank because there is no test case I've added here. So here we can create two things, add a section, add a test case. Section is basically this is a, a folder where we can group our test case, right? Let's create one section for the login. We can provide the description and then there is a button, add section button. Click done, add section button. Now you can see here at the left side, right side, you can see the login. We can add more section like I am going to create here. Installation, where we will put all the test cases which are related to installation. Created folder is added here. Two sections created here. Now let me show how we create the test. So now if we want to create the test, so there is a button here, add the test. There is one button here, add the test case. So both button, any button we can use to add the test case. So let's me create here, click here. So click. First of all, you can see there is a title. Let's provide the title login with valid user. Okay, as we discussed in the last tutorial, uh, we can create a, a test case, add the test case, and here we have section, we can select section, in which section we are going to add our test case. Here we have three types of template, one is the exploratory session, test case, test system. So I have already discussed on these two, let's do some test case by using test, text, uh, test case, text. Other option we can hear what which type of test cases we have. Like suppose that our test case is functional, we can put here functional. Priority define automation type, right? Only render which is coming, estimated time we can pass. Here we can pass the precondition user, like user is on login page. What step need to perform? Enter username. Enter password and then click on the 
log in button. Okay, so what is the expected result we can pass? User should log in successfully and then click on the add button. If we click on the add next, so this existing test case will add into the corresponding folder and one new blank uh, form will open. Let's click on the add next. Okay, you can see successfully added the new test case. If you want to view the test case, we can go here. Like I click on the view, you can see the test case. Okay, now it's open that to create the next test case up form. Like here, validate. Login form validation message. Okay, this is login. Here we can put the test case template, right? Select the type. This is the functional, right? Medium, right? or which type of priority we have? Low estimated automation time type. Precondition user is on. Login page. Here we can mention some steps like inter run credential and click on login button. Okay, expected result user should see incorrect password or username okay now i'm going to click add so it will not open the next new page click on add test case is added okay if we, here we are getting option again add another test case if we want to add an, an another test case so click on this, you will see the new form will open. Let's go to the test case section. Now you can see here, both the test cases reflected and this is coming under the login section because we have added the login section. So let me create one test for the installation. Like install software. Okay. So now this case I am selecting this type. Okay, this is non-functional, right? So I can select the other here. So medium like this, we can fill the precondition steps and expected result. We can fill at the test case. Now, if I go in the test case cases folder, you will see the uh, this install software test case is coming under the installation section. Right, right. Okay. In this way, we can add a section to group our test cases and we can write the test case. Now let's move to how to create the milestone right first. So milestone basically this is nothing. This is such a, like a, uh, some goals right for the like release. So suppose that we are planning some release and then we are defining here one uh, milestone. And then in the milestone, we will set up the test suits as well as the test results uh, for the execution. So like I am going to create one milestone. This is for my release one. Okay. If we have any reference, we can add the reference here. So this is the parent. We can also create a milestone within another milestone. So as of now, there is no milestone is created. That's why I'm not getting here option parent. We can provide the description of the milestone, start date, like I'm going to select the start date, 15, Feb, and then end to end 28 Feb. This milestone is completed, right? We can select tests and the test case can only be assigned to active milestone, right? So let's add the milestone. So milestone is added here. So this is by default uh, in the uh, upcoming milestone, right? Let's, if you want to uh, like uh, active this, then we need to start this. 
So if I mouse move here, you can see there is start button. Click on start button, right, and milestone is started. So once we uh, click on start it, it will come into the uh, open area. Okay, let me show you another milestone. Let's create. Like this is the release to reference we can add here we can you can see the my uh, parent is coming right now because one milestone we have we can create the release to under this milestone also we can provide the description we can provide the start date as well as the end date let me put this in march right and uh, the end date of end date of the 31st march let's click on the add milestone button so you can see this is coming under under the upcoming milestone let me create another milestone. So this is basically release 1.1. Okay, reference parent. Let me add in the active uh, release one, right? This is parent of this start date. We can put here, suppose that 20 and then 28. This milestone is completed. Click on the add milestone. Okay, this milestone you will see here one some milestone and no active run right so let me click on this you will see milestone here if i click on start this will also coming to the start section so go to the back so if we are creating the uh, one milestone into another milestone so that will come under the milestone so milestone you can see here if i expand you can see this is a start date okay zero percent completes completion percentage we have seen because we have not added any uh, test case okay in the milestone in the release in the milestone we can add the test plan let's move and see how we create a test plan we can add here test plan right within the test plan we can add multiple test runs no test has been defined for this project it user following add to the first test run Right. So let me add the first test run. Click on the add run. So basically, first we need to create the test plan. Let me create a test plan here. This is the test plan. So here in this section, we can add the test plan first. Within the test plan, we need to run the. We need to add the test run. Okay. So let's create first test plan. Click plan one okay we need to select the milestone in which milestone we want to uh, add this test plan so i'm selecting the release 1.1 1 .1, right we can provide the description and then click on the add test plan so test plan is added test plan one if i go again here uh, so test plan is added so here there is no test run associated with this this test plan so first we need to add the test a run with this plan so okay we can add the test run here right under the test plan so click on add, add the test run test run is added here we can select the test case under this a test run so select the test case right so all the three test cases is selected and then click on the save button okay so if i go in the test run test uh, plan one you can see one test run is available so we can add multiple test run within one test plan so if we execute this test run then our result will deflect under this test plan so basically one test plan is just superset of multiple test runs Okay, now if you want to execute the test case, right, of uh, the test plan, so click on the test run. Then here we can select, uh, execute the test case, right, of particular test run, like verify the test case on the UI, and here we can mark the test case pass and fail based on the uh, outcome. So I click on the past first one. So here we can put assignment, right, who is executing what is the status if there is any comment we can put here version number we can give elapsed time how much time it 
uh, elapsed to execute we can start here right it will automatically capture the time we can pause this right and then if there is any defect we can link here from the tracker so now i'm going to add the result you can see one pass so here percentage you can see in the pie chart right so one there are three tests total so the one test passed it means 33 percent is passed let me mark this failed okay similar type if i do this let me mark this uh, pass also so we can provide here the assignment assign to and click on the add result test is passed so how many test cases passed there are three tests two tests passed and three one failed so if i come back here the test run test uh, if i come here test plan in the test plan you can see the result also here you can see the detail two pass zero block zero untested zero rerun and retest and one failed all the detail we can see also here if i go to the test go to the milestone let's see in the milestone we can also see the result all the result right which are uh, which the test run are available under this uh, section so we can see in the dashboard also if i go in the overview overview we can also see how many tests pass and how many fall for the project on that particular date right for every day you will see on 50th you can see uh, three tests uh, executed two pass and fit okay so here the test run i created under the uh, test plan right test run we can also create directly without using test plan so let me show you add a test run date i am giving right here give the name reference milestone so let's see milestone is less one assign to assigning to me description include the test case include all the test case i am selecting click on add button all the three test cases is added here. Now, if I go in the test run and result, you will see the new entries here. This is not under the test plan. Directly, this is coming uh, here, test run. If I go in the milestone, now here you can see the data is changed. Because now this milestone has two test run, right? In both, it contains the three test. That's why we are getting here 50% untested, three out of six tested. If I go in the overview, okay, here you can you will see test run, both test run as well as the test plan is available, and milestone release one you can see. Activities what we have done you can see also here, right? Now let me go and execute the test case from the test run two. Click on this, right, and then here we can mark the test case pass or fail this is i am going to retest you will see also option and this i am going to put the block like suppose that let's see here one test pass one blocked one retest and zero fit now if i go in the test run right here you will see the percentage outcomes of the execution Similar type, if we go into the milestone, here you will see also the outcomes, right? What is the, how many test pass and how many failed and how many blocked, how many retested, all this information is coming here. Okay, so in this way we can uh, execute the test case, right? By using the test rail, you can see the details under the milestones, under the test run, run and result, all these details you can get. So in the next tutorial, I will discuss how we generate the reports under here. Okay. And uh, if you like the tutorial, click on the uh, like, like button as well as subscribe the channel and click on the bell icon so that you can get latest video notification. And also share this tutorial to your friends and colleagues and leave a comment if you have any things. And uh, thanks for watching the video.